will continue to get colder, harsher, and more uncertain. Remaining mobile during emergencies is crucial. Everyone should be prepared and ready. That's why we developed the Tusk. The first all-in-one winter tool that could save your life. We designed this product to be like no other. Made from glass reinforced plastic polymer, it is impact resistant and super durable. This thing can handle any challenge. Use it to dig and push snow out of the way. Although compact, the Tusk's shovel can punch above its weight and move large amounts of snow. Compacted ice doesn't stand a chance against its stainless steel blade. Easily retractable, there when you need it, it won't let you down. Its elastomer wings easily doze snow and water off your windows without damaging your paintwork. Our polycarbonate scraper sheath protects the spade and eats window ice for breakfast. Its car-friendly size and materials make it the best way to clear your vehicle. Unlike other snow shovels, the Tusk can fit in around your wheels and underbody. Its durable handle design allows it to be compact and easy to use. Store it in your trunk or footwell so it's there when you need it. When winter is over, take it hiking, take it camping, Take it anywhere. Never be without a compact shovel. You never know when you'll need it. Join us and help make this product a reality. Other winter tools won't save your life. Be ready for the next snowstorm. Also, probably really good for a zombie apocalypse. So, I thought this would be better to have a conversation about, yeah. about why we actually made the Tusk. And why we went through some yeah. Of yeah. hard work and everything's put into it. Just yeah, like, and uh, I suppose people don't realise the work that goes, goes into it, you know. And then they, sometimes you see a Kickstarter project, you see the final piece. And I suppose we want to kind of show some behind the scenes, we want to show the process, the way we did things. Um, so it's the, the magic, I suppose, that went into it. Well, I'm super excited. It's a great product. I know you guys worked really, really hard on it. And um, team effort, and we're here. We're uh, launching this product. Yeah, and, um, we really just wanted to thank everyone for, for watching and paying attention to our campaign. And, uh, and clicking that button. Great. We really wanted to thank everyone who supported us on our last campaign last year with Stay Hold. And um, since then, we, we launched a new design studio yeah. called Portation. And, um, you know, we, we want to use that to, to create new projects, new ventures, new products, and, and just really keep innovating and designing and creating new stuff for, for everyone. Uh, you're not by now, you've seen it, uh, the Tusk. Uh, yeah, like, you know, we're, 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 we're so happy with how this turned out. Uh, That's been all over the world. Huh? It's been all over the world. It's been Iceland, it's been like... Yeah, this, this one has traveled a lot. This one has traveled a lot. And uh, we've had a lot of fun with it already. And, um, you know... <laughs> I mean, maybe being a bit biased, but just holding this unit is incredible, and, and using it, and just, you know, we, we just had a really bad winter in Ireland, and having this to actually use and, and, and clear out yeah. tons of snow and clear cars and everything. Yeah, when we got the first prototypes, we were, we were stoked, we were really happy about it, and uh, we couldn't get, we couldn't wait to get used to this, and uh, we went up to Iceland, as Ben said, and we just tested the, the hell out of it. Yep. And uh, we went on the cars, we even unintentionally got stuck in the snow. Unintentionally? Yeah. Unintentionally. Yeah. You know, we were kind of trying to do it for video purposes, but we, we ended up actually getting stuck. And, uh, Didn't have anything else with us at all that we could use to, to, to clear us out. So. And that was 
but without this, we'd, we'd still be there <laughs> trying to try get out of that snow bank. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's really handy to have. So look guys, we're, we're super thrilled to be at this stage, to, to have the project finished and be able to put it in front of the Kickstarter community. Um, so we appreciate all your support and, and help and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the other side. Make those pledges, keep pressing those buttons. Cheers guys. Share with all your friends and family and tell them how cool it is. Everyone needs one. Everyone should have one in that car. Be ready for next winter. Be very ready for next winter. Yeah, it might be worse than it was this winter. Yeah. See you later guys. Hopefully not, but never know. My name is Mike Bostick, and uh, it's the first time I've ever done anything like this. And a friend of mine asked me to come to Kickstarter because he believed in me and and believed what I have to offer. Uh, I'm 40 years old. I just want to give you a little background of me uh, before, before I show you, you know, what I've created. I'm 40 years old, and I have a family of six. I am in college at my age, and I've got one year to go before I graduate in emergency management. I feel that I love helping people. 
And throughout my life, I was an EMT for a little while, a short little stint. Um, for my own personal reasons, I was no longer doing that profession. Um, but it does not mean that I did not learn and, and having that ability to teach and, and help others uh, because it has came into use quite a few times since then. But I believe in helping people during disasters, during man-made events or natural, and that making people more self-aware of the possibilities of things happening is quite important to me. Um, so many times in life, in, 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 in our country and in the world, people go about their daily lives real, not realizing that at any moment something could happen to where they could be in a survival situation. You could be fishing off in Canada and something happened where you're lost. You could be in an airplane and it crashed and you'd be lost. You could find yourself in the middle of a hurricane with no food and no water, no abilities to, to get out. You could find yourself in all these situations. It's endless. And sometimes there's things that could happen that we don't even know about yet that we learn from. And that's what I'm here today. Um, I have been, in a sense, teaching... Um, individual preparedness for quite a while on YouTube and, and Facebook. But that's why I joined or I went to college so I could do more. Not alone can I help it, people as individuals, but also my county, my state, my country uh, when it comes to emergencies. And so that's why I went to the next level. But I also feel that this product I want to show you is a manifestation of such and it's simple and easy it's not complicated to have or to own or to use you do need to know and understand how to use some of the equipment inside but the most of them are self-explanatory I create and build survival kits uh, from small to large and this model that I'm about to show you has took me over two years and so many different variations that I've tried out and and created to make this prototype which you will see right here in a second I don't want to bore you with a long video and I just wanted to show you who I am a little bit so you understand where I'm coming from the process of me building this has been quite extraordinary um, a lot of my friends in the survival community and bushcrafting community and emergency preparedness community all gave me the thumbs up on what I'm about to show you um, especially in my good friend who told me about you, Kickstarter. But everything that is involved and, and placed inside what I'm going to show you is in it for a specific reason. And they have been tested. It has been tested and tested to show that these products that are involved with it are worthy and efficient. I believe in a survival situation, you have four main needs, period. Fire, water, shelter, and food. Now, some have disagreements here and there on the order of those four. But your most important is those four things. You have to have shelter to shelter you from the weather. You have to have fire to keep you warm. Boil food, make water. Or, I'm sorry, boil water, make food. And keep you warm but also give you positivity uh, because it, when you're in a survival situation keeping positive is really important and a fire can always soothe that and so it is very important to have fire but water is also your most important because without water you can die within 24 hours depending on the weather and the temperatures and how much you exert so water is highly highly important and food you have to have food to survive. You need it. But you can go for two to three weeks without food. So I'm going to show you what I have, and I hope that you guys see the possibilities. Survival kits are funny. You can find them anywhere, kind of. Um, many different shapes and sizes. Um, but I found flaws with a lot of the larger ones. Um, there's nothing like a good little small little kit we call in the preparedness world a little survival tin. Um, it's made to get you through a certain little situation. It's not for long durations, okay? Um, it could last, it could get you through a day or two maybe. 
But then you can search survival kits and you'll find big backpacks that cost you five, six hundred dollars with all the stuff in it. But the problem is that right there, the backpack for one itself. Backpacks are really great for carrying things, but they have their disadvantages. One, a backpack when it's full on your back comes way out. Okay? So that alone, the height of the backpack on your back from top to bottom pulls weight on your shoulder depending on how much weight you got in it pulls weight on your shoulder and pulls you back okay one that strains your body when you're trying to move and you're trying to get out of a situation it is straining your body creating an exertion which you're losing energy itself two the width of it or the width and then the actual distance from your back will also determine energy loss because as that weight moves and you move and you're walking and you're swaying your backpack is also swaying there's no real stability there to keep it from doing and moving differently than what your back and your body is moving so you're wasting more energy and in a survival situation energy is most important you need your energy to help get you through the more energy you lose that you do not replace the slower you get to a point to where you will not be able to do what you need to do so backpacks have that disadvantage when it comes to that. The second disadvantage is of a lot of these backpacks and these survival packs and these gears, even our soldiers, is that when you need something quickly, you pretty much know where your stuff's at in your backpack, but you still got to unzip this, pull this out, pull that out to get what you need. There's a lot of time wasted trying to retrieve what you need quickly. This is where the Moac Elite comes in. MOAC stands for Mother of All Kids. And it's the elite because it is the pinnacle of what I've tried to create. And I apologize for the cars. I am an urban guy, so I do have trucks to go by my way. But I'm going to show you what I've got. Most backpacks, give or take, to weigh up to 30, 40, 50 pounds, give or take what you put in it. This guy only weighs maybe 20 pounds or less. Now, it kind of looks a little bit intimidating, which is, you know, understandable, but it's not. I have created this out of 125 Kydex, which is, you can get thicker Kydex, but any thicker than this right here, and it would be very difficult to manipulate without machinery. This is all handmade. Um, it is quite durable, quite strong, weatherproof. I have made I want you to focus on, not in a sense what the contents are inside, but the accessibility of this, okay? It is very accessible. When you're in a survival situation and you lose your one arm's capabilities of moving, say you injured your arm, you want to be able to get the things out of your bag or your pack or your survival kit with one hand. This can be done that way. It is quite, quite simple to do. Um, you've actually got two ways of actually retrieving things that are inside the main unit itself. So let's explain what's in the main unit itself. It is a skeleton in a sense. This is the shell of it. It is very strong. I've got it dually, dual padded on the inside to protect the stuff that is inside. This thing can be thrown across the road. It could fall off a cliff and everything inside will still be functional. You will not, it will not damage it. Two, everything in it is waterproof. So you could drop it in the water. Yes, it'll sink, but the materials and the things inside will not be damaged. You can pull it out of the water, let it dry for a little bit, and you'll be good to go. In this kit itself has everything you need for the four main categories. Fire, water, shelter, and food. Everything. Now, to access the inside, this is the latest little attachment that I made that can come on it or not. That actually gives you a little bit more storage if you want to put, say, a poncho here or you want to take your sweatshirt off. You can just shove it right here, zip it tight, and you can carry it so you don't burn up and get hot or whatever. You know, you've got somewhere to put something. Here is a glow-in-the-dark tablet that I've created and made that as the sun hits it throughout the day at night, it will intensify and glow pretty bright for quite a while. Um, it will light up an area pretty decently for you if you just let it sit in the sun and let it do its thing. To see what's on the side of this, 
you've got your water filtration system. This is the Aquamira Frontier Pro. Great product. Um, we'll do 99 gallons at 99.9%, .9%, so removing pretty much all bacteria and, and dirty filaments and things like that. Very useful. And 90, usually you want a gallon a day per person in a survival situation. You need at least a gallon a day. This will easily give that to you for two to three weeks. This pack is made to get you through a longer duration. This pack can get you through weeks if you take care of the equipment inside. That is the main thing. If you take care of it, will take care of you. It is very light, does not make a lot of noise at all. I've attached backpack straps. Um, I did not have a company to purchase separated backpack straps, so for now on this prototype, I've took some off of an older model of backpack and, and created the straps for it. Um, on the back side itself has padding for your back and along the small of your back. And what's great about this pack is, is it's very, very narrow. Compared to a backpack that would be off your back coming out this far, this guy only comes out three to four inches, which is awesome. And so that weight distribution is not going to be there. It will be on your back, stuck to your back, and not move. It moves with you, not against you. So you've got the padding. I've developed an LED light strip that is easy to turn on and is very, very bright. They are waterproof. And on a 9-volt battery, I've tested, goes up to almost 16 hours straight and still did not shut off. But it starts to dim at about 14 to 16 hours. So that is 16 hours of light in a dark area to help you light up your area without having to waste your flashlight. On the back side is a great product by a friend of mine who created the Emberlite stove. This stove gives me the opportunity. Well, I can get it out here. Like I said, this is the prototype of it. Oh, that was my problem. I hastily put it in here and, and forgot about that. But inside it is the ember light stove. With the stove, you can cook your food. You can boil your water to purify it. Um, you can do many things with this little stove. Very light and compact and is protected uh, in this little sleeve. And you just easily slide it right back in there. So it is definitely protected and padded. On this side, like I said, you've got your water filter, LED flashlight. On the other side, you've got first aid kit and fire kit. Now, here's the inside and the guts of it real quick. And thank you for being patient with me. You have two ways you can retrieve it. You can go with the unlocker to where you just unlock it like this. And like I said, it is two-handed on this side. But if you went from the other side, you could do it one-handedly. But you undo it, and inside shows you the guts of it. Inside, you've got your, your cooking utensil. You're, basically, you put it on the stove, you can boil your water in it, you can cook your food in it, whatever you scrounge up or find or what you brought with you, or keep food inside it just in case, like um, emergency food ration bars, things like that. You can, you've got space and room to put it in there. And here is a... GearPod system, which I found I love to death. GearPods makes a great product. It's waterproof, shockproof, easily to, um, you could drop it, break, it won't break. Um, you've got an extra water bottle if you needed to. Inside it comes with the emergency bivy sack, which is like an emergency blanket, but better because you can reuse it. Spare batteries. Um, you've got space to put things. The model itself will come empty, except for the main things you need, the shelter, the fire, and the food, or water. Um, but it comes, you can make a, a first aid kit. So it's very, very useful, and you've got a lot of space to utilize for it. And you can just put it back in there. In the bottom part, you just undo, and you've got your paracord and also your shelter, which is a 5x7 tarp that fits right directly in it. Nice and simple and easy, and you just pull it out, set your tent up, and your shelter up, and there you go. On the inside here is a small little fishing pole, which is just a little cool little thing I added to it to show you. Um, so you can basically fish for some food if there's you have the ability to reach water and things like that. You've got a fishing pole without a reel 
but like it, when you were a kid and used to cane pull fish. No matter what kind of fish you get, it's food and it's survival, so it gives you an extra upper hand. But as you can see, that everything is in place. Everything can be taken out quite easily and put back in its place. Just like that. And it is not going anywhere. My hopes with you on Kickstarter and this product is to help me develop a better version that can actually be thrown in your boat, your car, your plane, carried in your own main backpack when you're hiking. Because usually when you hike, you do carry a bigger backpack that has your sleeping bag and all this other stuff, but this will fit actually in your backpack. So if you go hiking and you make your main camp and you go hiking for an hour or two, you've got this with you just in case, and you can easily pull it out of your main pack. So it's quite useful. And like I said, it does not take a lot of space for this item. I really believe that 